What if World War I ended by Christmas? In our own timeline, there was a famous saying in Germany that they would defeat France by Christmas 1914, but the war ended up finishing before Christmas 1918. But what if that didn't happen? What if World War I ended by Christmas? On December 25, 1914, the German and British soldiers had an unofficial truce. They gave presents to each other and played football or soccer for my American viewers on the Western Front. In this timeline, the soldiers who just bonded with their supposed enemies now refuse to fight them and desert on the Western Front. With Germany, France, and UK having no soldiers on the ground, they sign an armistice on January 1, 1915 in Verdun between the German Empire, Austria, Hungary, United Kingdom, and French Third Republic. France withdraws from Togoland and Germany withdraws from most French territories, but keep lands east of the Moss and Mosul River. UK withdraws from New Guinea and Germany leaves Belgium, but annexes lands south of the Moss River. The UK is still at war with the Ottomans and the Central Powers with Russia. The United Kingdom and Ottomans sign a peace treaty in early 1915. The United Kingdom establishes a puppet state in Lower Mesopotamia and Palestine. Hejaz becomes an independent kingdom under Hussein ibn Ali al-Hashimi. By 1915 Russia too was forced to surrender and sign the Treaty of Riga. Germany puppets the Kingdom of Poland under Frederick Augustus I, Kingdom of Lithuania under Mindaugas II and Duchy of Courland and Semigalia under Adolf Friedrich I. The Ottoman Empire re-annexes Kars, Batumi and Artahan. Serbia and Montenegro signed the Treaty of Belgrade. Bulgaria annexing two-thirds of Serbia while Austria-Hungary puppets the rest and annexes Montenegro. Russia and the Ottoman Empire would feel betrayed by their allies and leave their alliances. The Entente between UK and France is in Western Europe, quadruple alliance between Germany, Austria-Hungary, Italy and Bulgaria in Central Europe, and Balkan League between Russia, Romania and Greece in Eastern Europe. In 1916 Woodrow Wilson loses the presidential election to Charles Evans Hughes because he won in our own timeline, because of his stance to neutrality. That same year Franz Josef I dies and Charles I becomes emperor. He would federalize the empire, but Hungary would unsuccessfully fight back. Austria-Hungary transforms into the United States of Greater Austria. With German support the Manchu Restoration of 1917 is more successful and the Fengxian even switch sides in exchange for their continued control of Manchuria. The Zili and Anhui were defeated and Ma, Sichuan and Xinjiang switched sides meaning only the Kuomintang in the southeast remains. Germany then supported counter-revolutionaries in Guangdong and Guangxi. Yunnan then submits. Meanwhile the Bogdi Khanate and Tibet ally themselves with the Russian Empire and United Kingdom so that the Qing Empire doesn't invade them. In the Ottoman Empire the three Pashas are cooped by Mehmet V and Mustafa Kemal as they became unpopular after their defeat in the First World War. Democracy is re-established and in the 1917 elections the Ottoman People's Party under Mustafa Kemal defeats the CUP and FAP Mustafa Kemal then becomes Grand Vizier. The Sultanate of Nejdi and Hissa conquered Hejaz in 1925, but the Ottomans helped the Emirate of Jabal Shamir to take down Nejdi and Hejaz. The Ottomans annex Hejaz and Jabal Shamir takes Nejdi. Britain did manage to make a protectorate in Al Hissa led by Abdulaziz ibn al Saud. In the Great Depression, the Russian monarchy is overthrown, and a republic is installed with Alexander Kerensky being its first president. In Italy fascism would likely not RISD as they weren't in a world war. Japan would still invade Manchuria, but with China united 11 years earlier and without a civil war Japan fails to take over Manchuria and almost loses Korea, but has to give down. The Russian Republic would support the Spanish Republicans while Germany and Italy support the Nationalists. The Nationalists still win and Alfonso XIII becomes king again. In 1937 Japan invades King China which escalates a war against Germany. France, UK and Russia join on the side of Japan and Austria, the Ottomans and Bulgaria on the side of Germany. China is pushed out of Manchuria by Japan and Russia and also has to withdraw from the Shandong Peninsula but wins the Battle of Shanghai. Meanwhile Germany surprises the Allies by encircling the British and French at Dunkirk. As France was losing Italy joined the war. 
Russia was at this time pushing Germany out of her holdings in Eastern Europe, but with new divisions from the West Germany holds the line and even pushes back Russia. The front freezes at the Dogava and Dnipro River. At this point the war is mostly a stalemate with just minor border changes and so in 1940 the Geneva Convention is held. Germany puppets the Kingdom of Belarus under Edel Friedrich, Prince of Prussia and Hethmanate of Ukraine under Pavlo Skoropadsky. The Ottoman Empire puppets Armenia, Azerbaijan and Georgia and annexes Palestine under the condition that Jews are allowed to settle the area and Iraq. Jubal Shamer annexes al Hissa. Germany puppets the Kingdom of Belgium under Adalbert, Prince of Prussia as Albert II, Kingdom of France under Henry of Orleans as Henry VI, and Kingdom of Occitania under Louis II of Monaco. Italy annexes Nice Savoy Corsica and Tunisia while Morocco goes to neutral Spain. French Africa becomes Free France and annexes Togoland and Cameroon. East Africa is annexed by UK and South Africa and Australia takes Southwest Africa and New Guinea. Italy also loses Eritrea and Somaliland. Bulgaria annexes Dobrugia while Austria-Hungary puppets Romania. Bulgaria also gets Macedonia. Manchuria becomes a Japanese puppet state under Wang Jinwei. After the war free France collapses and only effectively controls French Guyana. The British Empire also crumbles. Meanwhile the Central Powers collapse. The Ottoman Empire sees no need in being in the Central Powers anymore and focuses on the Middle East and Balkans, but still sells oil to Germany for guns. Bulgaria has a defensive pact with Austria, and Italy aims to take Dalmatia, and a fourth Balkan war seems to brawl. That conflict erupts in 1952 when the Ottomans demanded West Thrace back. Bulgaria refused and the Ottoman Empire declared war on them. The Ottomans defeat Bulgaria and Austria is forced to make peace with its enemies. The Ottoman Empire re-annexes all lands it held before 1912 and Bulgaria and puppets Serbia, Moldova, and Wallachia. Italy only got Trentino and Istria. As China is rapidly growing in the post-war era they surpass Japan, and in the 1960s a fourth Sino-Japanese war breaks out. Manchuria falls to China and Korea becomes a Chinese puppet state. In Iran the Pahlavi dynasty is likely overthrown, but like Saddam Hussein the Ottomans would declare war on Iran. They win and annex Chuzestan Lorstan and Kurdistan and Azerbaijan annexes Azerbaijan. The rest goes to the Qajars who are basically an Ottoman vassal state. A cold war would be between Germany and the Entente and later China. The four great powers are the United States, Russian Republic, German Empire and King China. In this timeline Germany manages to stay a great power and not to fall to Nazism with the war ending early and in Russia communism never takes power. The same can be said about Chile or other states that at one point experienced communism. In this timeline we don't have a world divided into three but in four. If you liked the episode, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.